All right, guys, so now we're into our third video here, going over our unit circle. Now, a lot of these things that we're going to do are a little bit, um, they're a little bit time consuming because we really want to understand where everything comes from. Now, we're not going to need to do this in calculus a lot. So this video really is just to show you where things come into play. So first things first, as we kind of rehash what we've learned, let's go ahead and uh, maybe just kind of relearn everything we've done very quickly. So what we've learned is if I draw a circle, okay, I'm going to first draw an X and Y axis like such. What do we learn about the unit circle? The unit circle is a circle that has a radius of one. So right here, this is one comma zero. The, over here, it's zero comma one. All I'm doing is organizing the X and Y coordinate points over he here. Uh, let me make a better one here, just so that it's like symmetrical with the other one. This is a length of one, but because we're in the negative section, it's negative one comma zero. Remember, this is our center of our circle. And now down here, this is zero comma negative one. Let's go ahead and draw our perfect circle. Okay, that was pretty bad, but that's okay. Now, what did we learn about previously? We have a formula. Circumference is equal to 2 pi r. The radius is 1, so the circumference of a circle is going to be 0 or 2 pi. When I say 0, guys, I'm going to explain what I mean by that. Right here, before I move, this is 0, right? Like, this is, we haven't measured any length around the circle. Now, when I go around a circle completely, that's what is 2 pi. Just plugging in 1 into the formula, what we did on the previous video. And then we even said, hey, if I go around a circle all the way through, basically counterclockwise, that's 2 pi. What if I go half? Well, if I go half, it's just pi. We cut it in half, okay? So there it is, that's the length, right? These are our lengths right here. Now, what we would like to ideally do, guys, is what if we wanna know the length from here to here? Actually, let me change colors here. Let's use a nice, vibrant purple. What if I wanna know the length from here to here? What if I wanna know the length from here to here? Um, by the way, I'm going around the circles. So I know it's not perfect. What about this length right here? What is the length from here to here? We want to be able to measure the length anywhere around the circle using the formulas that we got. Now, we're going to use a very nifty conversion tool. So, for example, we know if I go around a circle, it is 360 degrees. What if I go half a circle? That's 180 degrees. What if I go half of that? Well, that would be 90 degrees right so we can start to fill these in with these degree marks and these radian marks now we don't really care about that too much but we do care about two special triangles right we talked about this earlier we have two special triangles that we care about we care about a 45 degree triangle the reason why we care about a 45 degree triangle is that both these side links right here if i was to draw a better triangle here both these side links are the same length Right? That's what makes 45 degree angles so beautiful is that when you basically measure this length, it's the same as this length right there. Now, this is our hypotenuse, right? So we care about 45 degree triangles because they're a very special triangle. And we also care about, we also care about 30 degree triangles. Let me draw that. I actually want to draw them to scale so it doesn't really confuse you. Okay. This is 30 degrees in here. We care about 30 degrees triangle. Here's our hypotenuse because if this is your length, this is one half of your length. These two are very special triangles. This is our your 30, 60, 90 triangle. This is your 45, 45, 90. You know, you got your isosceles and whatever the other one's called. I forget it myself. How do, are we going to get, for example, how do we get How do we get this measurement here? Let's say this is 45 degrees, okay? What is the length from here to here? We wanna know what this length is. How do we get this length? Well, we have to do something called the unit conversion and it's actually kinda of cool and a little sneaky if you ask me. This is what we're gonna do. We know 180 degrees is the same thing as pi. Right? Well, check out what we can do here. We're gonna do something called a unit conversion. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my 45 degrees, I'm gonna put it right here, and I wanna convert it to measurements of radians with the pi symbol. Well, we're gonna use a little, basically a little 
chemistry here with unit conversions. I'm going to put the 180 on the bottom. The pi, uh, the degrees cancel, and I'm left with pi measurements. So we're going to get 45 over pi divided by 180. Now, if I simplify this, this becomes pi over 4. That means this length right here is pi over 4, 3.14 divided by 4. So it's probably like point some point six point something. I can t I can do it real quick on my calculator. Um, Three point one four divided by four point seven eight centimeters or inches, whatever the measurement is. That is our length. So that means this right here, this length, this new degree, we label that to be pi over four. Cool. So now we know this measurement is pi over four. And then the last one that we're interested in, guys, is if I can draw it very quickly here boom, I know it's not perfect, is a 30 degree. Well, what about at a 30 degree triangle? Well, at a 30 degrees, what is this length? Well, we're going to do the exact same, we're going to do the exact same method we did. We're going to do 30, and we're going to put the 180 on the bottom so that the degrees can cancel out, boom, boom, put the pi on the top. Okay, we're going to get 30 pi over 180 if we simplify that you know 30 divided by 180 just using a calculator we get pi over 6 that tells me this length right here is pi over 6 which actually makes sense it should be smaller than pi over 4 now if I do 3.14 divided by 6 that means since we're using uh, centimeters as our example this length right here is 0.52 centimeters in length this was Oh, I forgot what this was, 0.5 something, right? This is longer than this one, so it should be shorter. Okay, so now to recap, guys, to basically recap this through, what we figured out here, okay, is that 45 degrees, okay, so I'm going to just write 45 degrees, this measurement is pi over 4, and at 30 degrees, this is pi over 6. All right, now that whole unit conversion, guys, it's not that big of a deal, but this is huge because now we know at 45 degrees, this measurement is pi over four. At 30 degrees, this measurement is pi over six. And they're, they're basically numbers. We just don't want to simplify them, right? This is 0.5 something. This was point, uh, or yeah, this is 0.5 something. This was something else. I, I said it before, but there's measurements. We can use that to fill out our circles because we care a lot about 45 and 30 degree triangles. So. In our unit circle, guys, we have these coordinate points here, 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 these little four corners, and we're slowly filling this out. Going around a circle all the way through is 2 pi. Half of that is just pi. Up here is pi over 2, and we're slowly filling this out. So hopefully, guys, that made sense on how we came about getting these measurements on the top here. With that being said, we'll talk about our next video in the next section.